Hey, what's up guys? I had something come across my desk this morning. This is not my regularly scheduled video, but I guess we're getting a video sooner this week. But I had something come across my desk this morning, early, early, early in the morning, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So, battle log, battle, battle, battle log. Ooh, I gotta, you know what? Okay, so. <laughs> I'm the worst YouTuber ever. I had to like go and get my phone for it. But the Gundam Breaker Battlelog project combining games, gunplay, and anime is starting in summer 2021, which that's so exciting. I've already seen a couple of the kits that they're releasing for it. I will put them here uh, and where I found them. But I have to say, you have to look at this bad boy. The USA Gundam entry grade kit, so smart, so intelligent to go ahead and mix the West and the East together. So we have Bandai and Namco coming together to create this entry grade kit here. Now it's probably mostly gonna be stickers. Come on, let's be honest. It's an entry grade kit. It's gonna be more affordable. So what, you know, it, it is what it is. We all know what to expect at this point. And if you don't, entry grade kits, they're, they're gonna be very, very basic, basic level. But a lot of people are kind of not happy about the fact that all of the stripes and American parts on it are probably just going to be stickers. So therefore, it's probably not going to look the best and it would be better to just go ahead and do the paint job. Either way, it's still going to be a fun build. So I wouldn't completely knock it out, but I mean, it's kind of cool looking, right? What I want to go into is uh, this whole line of like really crazy kits from Gundam Breaker that they've decided to go ahead and put into this whole entire project. The Gundam Breaker Battlelog Project is a project that aims to strengthen the connection between the Gunpla-themed Gundam Breaker series video game and the Gunpla series. We will release newly designed Gundam units both in games and as Gunpla. All models in the HG Gundam Breaker Battle Log series of Gunpla that will go on sale as part of this project will be structurally redesigned and include joint parts that allow for various combinations of the head, torso, arms, and leg parts so that users can enjoy customizing their one-of-a-kind Gunpla just like they would in-game. Moreover, we plan on releasing limited edition Gunpla for exclusive sale abroad, mainly in the United States. We will also gradually release figures in North America in addition to Gunpla. It is still undecided whether or not the products made for the overseas market will go on sale in Japan. Now, what we have seen historically is obviously Japan gets a lot of exclusive for Gundam base uh, kits, things like that that are a little bit harder for us to get. So it's kind of exciting that us over here in the West are starting to get kits that are gonna be available only to us. Now, we have seen that as evidenced by this, uh, I don't, I haven't gone over it yet, but this is the Strike Rouge exclusively for Target. Now, this bad boy is literally Target colors and it is exclusive only to the West. So you're not gonna find it over there. It's exclusive to Target. It was our first collab. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, um, I haven't seen any other America exclusive collabs. If I've got that wrong, please let me know. Maybe Gundam Wing figures back in the day, but I feel like they were over in Japan and they came here. If you know a little bit more about that than I do, please let me know, but as far as I know, this, this, this was kind of special. Uh, I'm actually gonna be giving one of these away because I realized that people were buying these and putting them on eBay for like exorbitant amount of money. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over that and, and I have one that I haven't even touched that I'm gonna be giving away. So please, 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 if you have not subscribed, come back to my channel and uh, get in on this exclusive. I should probably do it before we start getting exclusive gunplay kits. Without further ado, let's go check these guys out and yeah, we'll leave it at that. Ah, welcome to OBS. I'm trying to learn how to do Twitch streaming without being overwhelmed, Skylar. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to check out this Gundam Info website. It's the one that I found this morning that has all of the featured kits that I wanted to talk about right here. Now, I will leave the link down in the description below so that you can look at this at your own pace. So definitely look down below, find the link, check it out, and let me know what you think. Now, the biggest one that I really want to go over is the Barbatarist. So we'll go over all of them, but hold on a second. Like, how wicked looking is this bad boy? Like, it's, it's just so weird. It's so wild that like i need it i need it it's just weird it's wild i i don't know i need it i need it i i feel like <laughs> there's nothing else to say about it other than that it is just it's a beast it's a beast it's weird it's wacky and i want it <laughs> so now right here on this actual website you're going to get all the release information everything like that as you can see june 15th today uh, and all the information uh, as well as other just stuff, but So of course we have Helios here. We have the live Lance heaven, which this guy looks cool He's got a Sazabi beam weapon on 
him, which uh, is enough for me to want to buy it. But we also have Perfect Strike Freedom, we have Blazing Gundam, we have the Gundam Quant, and a Ground Urban Combat type. I want to talk about this Crimson Goff really quick. Goff, Goof, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and the Inversion Astray Red Frame is another one that I really want to get. And then the Gundam Sky Zero, which I feel like my name is Skylar, so I have to get it. Uh, like I need another wing, though. Can we stop making wings? Stop making wings! I say that, but... And then we got the America Entry Grade American Type. So, so, let's just go really, really quick, alright? So, here we have the Helios. The Helios, uh, it's pretty cool. Like, uh, you know... They look well built. They're supposed to have an articulation to them that makes them easier to kit bash them. Here we have the Live Lance. Uh, it is weird, and I love it. Uh, looking a little bit like Death Sight there. Just, it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool if you really like kit bashes and stuff like that. Like, come on, he's pretty cool. I might have to get him. You know what? What am I saying? I'm gonna buy all of these kits, and you know I'm gonna buy all of these kits, and there's gonna be no need for it, and I'm gonna buy every single one. Then, of course, we have our Barbatarus, which is ridiculous. Here we have our Strike Freedom. Uh, it needs no introduction. Everyone pretty much knows this. Have you guys seen the one that's being built in Hong Kong, the life-size one? Oh, another, another place that I have to go visit. Now, when are we getting our... Oh, my gosh, I just realized. If they got Strike Freedom in Hong Kong, does that mean that we're going to get that weird RX-78 America Gundam? as a full size like figure out in California uh ooh. I wouldn't be upset at it it would be kind of interesting if we can get it big enough so yes yeah, strike freedom we have the it's amazing that's amazing kit ah blazing Gundam here uh always a good kit it's been a while since we've seen one of these so you know what I'm not against it wow 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 all right, next we got the Command Quant. Like, chonky suit. I always love a good old chonky suit. <gasps> ah! Oh my gosh. Okay, so yes, like I said, I'm going to leave the link down below so you guys can look at all of these. Now, let's talk about the Crimson Custom Goth Goof, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I have several of these kits. I enjoy this suit and I've literally thought about 500 times that I wanted to paint mine red and This one finally did it for me either. I'm gonna paint mine I don't think I'm gonna buy this one because I have uh, two mg's of these but that that crimson red is Looking top tier now I am a fan of the Red Astray. It's one of my favorites. Uh, the inversion colors on this. Again, I want to sit and paint my own, but at the same time, this thing is gorgeous. I'm definitely going to be buying this one definitely to build for sure. But, ah, gosh, like, it's such a sick suit. Amazing. And then, of course, another wing, a sky wing. <laughs> uh, I feel like just in name alone is why I have to get it, but... I'm not the biggest fan of like, I know it's supposed to be like a sky blue, it looks more like a mint. So I have a feeling that if I were to get this suit, I would want to paint that a, a, a more pure sky blue. Cause I, I'm just, I'm not digging the live, laugh, love mint green on it. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then of course, last but not least, our amazing American <laughs> entry grade RX-78. I want to know, like... I want to see the kids who get this as their first as their first kit or not even kids I want to see the first time Gunpla Builder over here in America get this bad boy and this be their first kit like my first kit was an RX-78 I kind of love that we have this too but like all the way down that right there is enough to make me want to get it that and the price tag of only $9.99 come on why would I not but even if it is stickers I just feel like I have to get it on principle alone like I don't know <laughs> but yeah oh yeah the entry grade kids if you haven't got to build one uh, they're pretty cool they come together really fast it's kind of like the difficulty of doing an SD Gundam but a bigger model I don't know they're really neat I think I'm gonna get this one just because it's just ridiculous and then of course we have the ad that I have here in my video and then you can see all of these suits inside the game 
But yes, uh, I definitely say go check out Gundam Breaker if you have not played it yet. And let me know what you guys think. Which one of these suits do you want? All right. If you guys haven't tried Gundam Breaker yet, please definitely try Gundam Breaker. I am not good at Gundam games as we've gone over extensively on this channel. <laughs> I'm not very good at the games, but they're still fun to play. Gunpla Warfare is a little bit more fun. You can put it on your phone, you can put it on your iPad, you can play it really quickly, and it's fun. You can customize your own kit. Now, what I would love to see, what I think would be really cool, is if, you know, how you can make like a custom pair of Nikes. Could you imagine if we could have a whole setup to where we could custom make a kit in game and then actually have it as a model kit. Now, I feel like that'll be like far, far, far in the future. Like that's not gonna just randomly happen. But could you imagine how cool that would be? I'd make like a special edition Gunpla. I don't know. This is an exciting year for Gunpla. This is an exciting year for Gundam. It's an exciting year for Western mecha lovers, Gundam lovers, whatever, anything. I don't know. I just think it's such a hobby that is so good for everybody and I really, can't wait for more people to experience it. So, thank you guys for watching my really quick video today. I have another video scheduled for Thursday. Uh, yeah, so I will see you guys on Thursday and probably about five million other times on all my other social media. So please be sure to check them out. I am becoming way more active now. I appreciate you guys welcoming me back and just being so entirely incredibly kind. You guys are the best. I would not be able to do this without you. So. Thank you guys so much. It's been amazing. I will see you guys very, very soon in the next one. Bye. Also, uh, check out my Instagram and all my other areas, my Twitter, mainly my Instagram and my Twitter. I put a lot of information on there. Uh, and yeah, come join my community. If this is your first time watching, please consider subscribing. It would be greatly appreciated. I'm almost to 2000, almost to 2000. It's been a journey, but you know what? Let's keep going and join my family.